everyone, Mr. Merkich here and today I've got part 13 on how to make a Discord chatbot and in this video I'm going to show you two little things which were requested in the comments. Um, so what, what's happened is I've run out of things that I want to show you that are worth showing. Um, so I'm, from now on I'm just going to pull things from the comments. Um, so obviously if there is no comments this will probably be one of the last Discord tutorials because I want to move on to something else now. Um, so yeah, we just got two things. I'm going to show you how to kick kick someone, which was asked, and I'm going to show you how to send a mass message, but on an even crazier scale. So you can mass message uh, every user in every server that the bot's in, at, in the click of a button. So we'll, we'll get to that as well. Kind of unnecessary, but seeming as it was requested, I thought I'd do it. So what we'll do is, for the kick command, it's fairly straightforward. It's kind of similar to these other ones, actually. So what we'll do is we'll just copy that, just paste it down, and we'll call it kick. What we'll do is we'll have the admin permission on still, obviously, and there's two ways we can do it. So we're going to remove these two lines, and what we'll do is we'll keep the user, um, because we can get them with the at tag. The thing is, you don't have to use the at tag. What you, because the method we can use, which I'll show you, is we'll, we'll type... Um, message dot channel and we're going to need to type uh, dot find users and you can see the argument this takes is a, as a name as a string so you could enter the name there um, so you could put the argument there let's say but what I'll do is I'll just keep it uh, using the user and we'll, we can say we can't just say user we've got to say user dot name because uh, the name is a string and the name is what find user wants so once we've done that we can just say dot first or default and then we can say kick if we want to um, so that's what we're going to use we're just going to use the kick command and that will kick them but if I take that away using this code here and then adding the dot you can get a lot of stuff about that user just so I don't have to make a tutorial for something else um, which is not really necessary this is things you can check with that user but we're just going to use kick and kick them. So now what we can do is we'll say await message dot channel dot send message and we can say user dot name and add on a little was kick and we probably need an await here as well just like that and that is how you kick a user so it's fairly straightforward don't forget you don't have to use this way as well it, because it is a string um, so there's that. So what we'll do is we'll get onto the sort of mass message within a mass message. Uh, you can either do it for a command or for a button. I'll just do it for a button because it seems easier. And what we can do is we can just actually copy both of these because uh, what we'll do is we'll mass message the text. Um, I'll just say send mass just so we know which one's which. So we'll go inside here and the first thing we want to do is have a for loop and we'll say for each SRV for server as a as a server in discord dot servers so what that's going to do is loop through each server uh, in the bot servers pretty much and then once we're in the server for each server we want to say for each user as a user uh, in servers this time SRV dot users so what that's going to do is now loop through each user in each server and then what you can do is say user dot send message you can either send the user a message uh, individually so that will go to like the DMs or you could actually well there's many ways to do it so yeah this one would go to the DMs um, so the message what would we what it would be text box four dot text just like that uh, maybe you want to have options so let's say you got a, like a check box and you could check you want to send it to channels so you could have like an if check if the check was equal to channels um, you can have uh, for each channel as a channel uh, whatever in servers dot channels 
uh, wherever that is, all channels. So now what you can do is say channel dot send message, and now you can send uh, text box four dot text to that as well. So what that's going to do is be a real pain in the ass. So for each server it's going to send the message to each user in the server individually and then it's also going to send the message to each channel within the server for each server so it's kind of annoying but there you go someone requested it it's fairly simple to do as well uh, people overcomplicate things as usual um, but that is all that would be required to do it what well, I'm not going to actually pull it off and show you that working because I'm sure a lot of people will be mad at me um, but that was uh, how it worked and one final thing before I go from the last video when people said the uh, ban and unban didn't work uh, it does work you need to make sure that your bot has uh, full on privileges like privileges to actually be able to ban and unban people um, that's the reason why some of you probably didn't have it working I guess um, so try that and let me know how you got on with that and yeah that's it, pretty much it for this video so uh, don't forget to leave a comment on what you want to see next time um, because this is probably one of the last videos I want to do I want to end this series and start a new one or something um, so yeah that's pretty much that so that is it for this video if you did enjoy it please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time